All right, howdy. So uh, today I'm gonna demo a couple of pedals, compare a couple of pedals. Um, I have here my uh, trusty Wampler Pinnacle, um, and it is the um, an older version with the two foot switches, so the boost is foot switchable. I don't know if there's a lot of difference in the circuits. Um, and I have it, I think, on vintage gain up top instead of modern. Um, I, I forget which way the switch works on that. Um, and then I have the Mad Professor 1 pedal, which is supposed to be the brown sound in a box. Um, I've tried a lot of these, as you know. And so far, um, Pinnacle is my second favorite for distortion box. Um, the uh, first favorite is, is one you can't get commercially. So, um, as far as what you can get in a store right now, this is this is my favorite. Um, and I wanted to try these two together. Um, this is a uh, it's a small you know normal like MXR size footprint pedal with reverb, brown, level, and presence. Um, the reverb is a built-in reverb, and I'll, I'll show you kind of compared to the, the uh, reverb on the amp I'm playing through. Um, the brown is kind of a distortion level. Uh, level is what you figure, and presence kind of dials in some more, um, you know, high-end kind of crispness to it. Um, and I'm playing today through a Fender Deluxe reverb. Uh, this is a 66. Uh, and I'm doing that because I wanted to play through something that's pretty clean so that you're hearing the uh, pedals um, and not, uh, you know, the amp as much as you'd be hearing if I were playing through uh, one of the Marshalls or something like that. Um, so I wanted to kind of get you, get as clean a sound as possible. Um, so I'll just kind of go through a little bit of um, what the pedals do. Uh, you'll see me kind of switching back and forth between them here. Um, and uh, I'm playing today a uh, BC Rich Eagle with a uh, Duncan JB in the bridge. Um, it was as close as I could find in what I've got to uh, what might be kind of a brown sound pedal or a guitar. So um, here's the, uh, the Deluxe. And I've got the uh, reverb turned off on it. So you can see it usually has a pretty, you know, deep reverb on it. I've got it turned off because I'm going to be showing off the reverb on the Mad Professor pedal, so I don't want the two to get confused. Um, but I'll just go ahead and start out now. Obviously, here's the, uh, the clean sound. kind of clean sounding amp. Um, I'll play through the pinnacle first and I've tr got, tried to get these about as close as I can get to sounding about the same. So. Thank you. 
hear that reverb in there. If I take that out entirely. similar in, uh, in range. I'll turn the uh, reverb back up on the pedal now. So you can really kind of hear that on the leads. Um, the presence, as you would figure, makes it sound brighter. But I've got it turned down because I'm playing through a fender here, so uh, presence is not really a lot what it needs in this amp. Uh, the brown uh, kind of goes from... <laughs> because it doesn't seem to have a lot of range in that. But it seems like it has more edge down at this end of the travel than up at this end. Professor has just a little more hair to the sound. Um, even with the uh, presence turned pretty well down, it's a it's a pretty trebly pedal. The pinnacle to me sounds a little smoother overall, and um, you know just kind of generally more kind of round sounding um, than the Mad Professor does. Um, still, you know it's a, it's a the Mad Professor is a good sounding pedal too. I don't think it's going to knock the pinnacle uh, off the title uh, for my second favorite overdrive pedal, but uh, it's, a, it's a good pedal. Check it out.